It's Party Marty, Taste of Country Music Festival, day number one of three, WRWD, and with me is Logan Mize, and Logan, rocking it on the stage a little while ago. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. This is a great crowd, and it's a great view from the stage, too. It's beautiful. Yeah, so with the Taste of Country Music Festival, this is the third time they've been doing this. You do a lot of these types of fairs, and so what is it about uh, when you take, say, a fair like this, or you do a more intimate setting as a performer what is it like for you do you feel like you have to push more yeah or pull back there's definitely uh, more of like you try to keep it up tempo we did throw a couple ballads in but you know when you got an outdoor crowd and they've been at the campsite you know partying a little bit it's uh is it easier or is it more difficult you feel like you have to really give it more you know the intimate theater settings are where you can really connect with people and you can tell a story and they're they're really engaged this is a little tougher because you know you got to work to engage them a little bit so you're trying to it's like hello know, over here trying to get up the mountain <laughs> a little ways you know so uh but it's either way i love both both uh both scenarios and, and we had a great time today yeah that's great yeah we just saw each other in Nashville not too long ago. Yeah, way back when, uh, like yeah. 24 hours ago. Uh, CMA Music Fest. It's a busy time of the year. It's a, you know the biggest gathering of country fans in the world. And here you are as a country star. You know you go there and the fans want to meet you. And they, what kind of stories do they tell you? Uh, like, uh, do, can you sign this? We've had so many people say, can you sign my baby? I can't tell you how many times I heard that this past week. Yeah, I've never signed a baby, mostly because if someone asks me, I'm probably not going to sign your baby. <laughs> I have a four-month-old, and if somebody signed her, I'd probably be rather upset. Yes. So uh, that, I feel like that might be a drunken question, and so I usually pass that off. But I've signed some interesting body parts on uh, some interesting folks. Yeah. Uh, I'm just happy to be doing this, and I'm happy people care. You know? And congratulations on signing with Arista. Thank you Nashville, so much. Yeah. of course. And the, the new single, tell us about that. Yeah, I can't get away from a good time. Now, Party Marty here, uh, you've been playing me since I was a little indie act. I was 23 years old, uh, and you, you guys were playing my stuff long before I knew any radio people. So I think you were my very first really? radio DJ that I ever met. Wow. We hit it off. and. So thank you very much. But yeah, I can't get away from a good time is the single. And uh, it's my debut single on Arista Nashville. And it's just a fun song, fun summer song. So I'm hoping the good things happen with it this summer. Good things happen to good people. I always say that oh, too. Oh, thank like, you so much. Do, do you do a lot of uh, social media? Do you like? Yeah, that? I have Twitter and, and Facebook and Instagram. So it's at Logan Mize and that's M-I-Z-E is my last name. And uh, just come say hey or, you know, if you hated the show, you loved the show, uh, you like the record, hate the record, whatever. Just come say <laughs> it. And you have an EP. You know yeah, the EP? brand the brand new EP is Pawn Shop Guitar, and it's my first release in three years. So I'm really happy to to be putting new music out and be touring on new tunes. And no matter how successful you are, you have this $500 station wagon, is it? That you, it's like all you, you look at the press release. Oh, he's done this, he's done that. He's he's going to be on this show. He's performed with all these artists, Lady Antebellum, and, and he has a $500 station wagon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people make fun of me. My wife refuses to ride in it. She she says it's going to. Uh, it's not safe, or it's just, well, yeah. there's a lot of fumes going on in that car. Oh, exactly. But it's a $500 Chevy Caprice Classic yeah. uh, station wagon. And it's got a tailgate. It's got you can fold all the seats down into a bed. It has the roll down window. Or? It's got it. Yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. You know, it's electric windows. Oh, electric you know? windows. Oh, yeah. oh, that's high it's class. really fancy. And uh, I mean, it's a great car. I love it. I bought it for five hundred bucks, and uh, I've driven it all across the country. So I don't know why I would ever want, you know, to buy a fancy pickup truck or anything. I mean, I got a, I got a Chevy station wagon. Yeah, why not? <laughs> that could be a song for you. you it might, that. Yeah, I might need to write a song. And Glenn, by the way, is his name. My station wagon's name is Glenn with two ends. You can follow him on Twitter at Glenn the Wagon. Glenn Wagon has a Twitter following. He does. He's uh, got like 37 followers. Well, I'll have to talk to Jersey Web Girl. She handles all the social media for our radio station, and maybe we could uh, you know, partner up with them. Yeah, Glenn. that'd be great. It's a good nice. idea. So uh, as far as the family, how's the family doing? Family's great. Uh, we have a four-month-old baby at home, and she's doing, she's doing really well. And then we have a three-year-old boy. And, um, yeah, it's fun. They, they come on the road with me this summer, and uh, it's, we're, we're going to try to see how, it, how uh, the bus is like with uh, – kids it's gonna be fun do you skype a lot when you're away yeah there's a lot of skype and facetime and all that stuff but uh you know they i've been doing this since they were born so they're kind of used to it so how about this because we're live on periscope you want to give them a shout out live for millions hey. upon millions of people across the world and your kids of course yeah so if you're watching thanks for watching uh appreciate you tuning in and if my son lincoln's watching hey buddy i miss you can't wait to see you next week i think that's the first time we've ever had a shout out on periscope from an artist there you go Is history it? wow so all right there you go cool we just made history i love it thank you so much logan marty Always thank you so much yeah so good to see you